Hey everybody, and Merry Christmas. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast feed here today. This is the NASCAR Freak, and this is the 51st review of 2023. And today, I got five diecasts to review for you guys. Dale Jr.'s 1996 Mom and Pop Chevrolet, uh, Bobby Hillen's 1997 Jasper Engines Ford, the 1997 Steve Park AC Delco Chevrolet, the 1997 Kenny Wallace Square D Ford and the 1998 Robert Presley Jasper Engines Ford Taurus. And those are the five diecasts I've reviewed for you guys for this Christmas edition of National Diecast Reviews for 2023. Let's get on to it. So here's the first diecast in this review. It's on the 1996 Dale Hart Jr. Mom and Pops Chevrolet Monte Carlo from the Astro Bush Series. Uh, by the way, this is the year that Dale Jr. made his first Bush Series start in 1996, and the first start came at Myrtle Beach Speedway which is not a racetrack anymore. It actually got bulldozed. But we're going to go over this die cast here. We're going to start out with the front. Here is the Monte Carlo nose and uh, Mom and Pops and Chevrolet in the hood. And before 1907, uh, in 96, they actually did like the outline of the headlights. They didn't really do like a full headlight decal and stuff back then uh, that was um, existent in 97, but not in 96. And we're going to move on to the left side right here. Here is the left side of the die cast. Um, you can definitely tell this is technically a Dale Hart paint scheme, but uh, a big red stripe and a white stripe um, on the bottom there. Here is a roof right here. And then here is the deck on the back. Performance parts, GM performance parts on the deck wood, but there's nothing on the back. And here is the right side of the die cast here, same side as the left. And if you guys are looking for the Dale Jr. Mom and Pops car, uh, I recommend you guys to get this one. Um, if you guys are Dale Hart Jr. fans, well, I used to be a Dale Hart Jr. fan before he retired um, and such like that when I watched him as a kid. Uh, this car actually that just that I have here, um, this was actually unexpected. I actually didn't even know I was getting this today, but um, it came with the gift I got from my brother and... Um, I got my brother a Kyle Busch 3 g die cast and the Elite die cast, and, um, and this came along with it. So, very happy I got it, but we're going to move on to the next die cast, which would be on the 1997 Steve Park AC Delco Chevrolet. So, here's the next die cast right here. It's going to be on the 1997 Steve Park AC Delco Chevrolet, and this is from the Bush Series once again. And this was before Dale Jr. stepped into 1998 and won two championships in the Bush Series 98-99. But uh, we're going to go over this with Steve Park now. Here is the Monte Carlo nose. Uh, AC Delco is shareable in the hood. And by the way, the hood opens. But let me uh, be right back to get it open for you guys. Unfortunately, of how hard it is right now to get the hood open, um, <laughs> it is really hard to get the hood open. So unfortunately, I cannot do it for you guys in this review. But uh yeah, whenever you have really small fingernails, or whatever, and, and trying to open up a hood, it's just tough. But anyway, we're going to go on and continue on with this die cast review here. So we're going to go with the, uh, going out the left side now. Here it is right here. And here is the roof. By the way, the molds in 1997, uh, they were really, really fat based in stuff, basically, for all the OEMs and such uh, that Action Racing did. But um, here is a deck one in the back. GM Performance Parts in the deck one and AC Deco in the back. And by the way, really nice uh, detail that they did back there with the uh, spoiler rivets and stuff to uh, to make the spoiler have some detail there. And here is the right to the die cast here, same size as the left. And if you guys are looking for the 1997 Steve Park, I recommend you guys to get this one. Um, it is very, very rare. I got this off of eBay, uh, just like the uh, four-wheeler cars I got there along with that. All of the uh, die casts except for Dale Jr. I got on eBay, but... Um, but yeah, that is it for Steve Park. We're going to go move on to the next die cast, which will be on the 1997 Bobby Hillen Jr. Jasper Engines Ford. Here is the next die cast in this review. It's on the 1997 Bobby Hillen Jasper Engines Ford Thunderbird. And this is a really nice die cast. I've been looking for this room for a little while. We're going to go ahead and take a look at it very closely, starting out with the front right here. Uh, Federal Mogul Jasper Powered and Ford on the hood. And there is the... Uh, Ford Thunderbird nose. And here is the left side right here, the die cast. Uh, there is, okay, on every die cast that Bobby Hillen was made in this edition, this is not the RCCA edition, 
but this is normal edition that actually made. Unfortunately, they put Morgan Shepard's name on there, and Morgan Shepard actually did drive this car one time, but they forgot to put the uh, Bobby Hillen's name on there, but it's all right. I have it as Bobby Hillen for now. Uh, just in order to Morgan Shepard, I just said Bobby Hill that was on the packaging. Here's the roof right here. And then Federal Mogul on the deck lead and Federal Mogul and Jasper engines on the back. Here's the right of the die cast here, same side as the left. And if you guys are looking for Bobby Hill for 1907, I recommend you guys to get this one. Um... If you don't like the fact that it had Morgan Shepard's name on there, you can get it in the RCCA edition, uh, which that's probably preferred. But we're going to go on to the next one, which would be the 1997 Kenny Wallace Square D Ford. I mentioned that my brother, uh, he got a gift. I got him a gift, and this is the gift I got him. This is the 2023 Kyle Busch 3 Chi Chevrolet the, in the Elite Die Cast. Uh, really nice. He actually, by the way, if you guys can't tell, this is Elite Die Cast. There it is right there. That is, um, that's the little antenna there, and uh, that is it for the gift I got him. Next die cast would be on Kenny Wallace's 1997 Square D Ford. So here's the second to last die cast in this review. It's been on 1997 Kenny Wallace Square D Ford, just like I mentioned now, like three times in this review. I know you probably heard me say that. It's enough now, but uh, anyways, we're going to go ahead and take a close look at it right here, starting out the front. Here's the Thunderbird nose, Square D on the hood, and uh, you can definitely tell that they actually painted this die cast instead of it just slapping decals and stuff on there. Here is the left side. Uh, very, very nice paint scheme. Very uh, nostalgic. Uh, just very clever by the race teams that they did what they did back then. Here's a roof right here. Squarity.com on the deck one and Squarity on the back. And here is the right to die cast here, same side as the left. And if you guys are looking for the 1997 Kenny Wallace Square D Ford, I recommend you guys to get it. Um, and by the way, I like to mention now that I just completed all the 1997 NASCAR Cup Series cars. I still had the Bush and Truck Series to go through, but this is really cool. And now I get to complete the 1997 NASCAR Winston Cup Series cars. I have 49 Cup cars for 97. And I get to have six of them not even qualify, but uh, <laughs> I'll just pick and choose which ones it could be in the race or whatever. But uh, really cool. I got Kenny Wallace and everybody. But that's it for the 1997 cars. We're going to go on to the last die cast in this review, which would be in the 1998 Robert Presley Jasper Engines Ford. So here's the final die cast in this review. It's on the 1998 Robert Presley Jasper Engines Ford Taurus. So the Thunderbirds, uh, the Thunderbirds discontinued, and they made a new Ford Taurus. And this is really, really nice. We're going to take a close look at it here, starting with the front. And here is the Ford Taurus nose. Um, Federal Mogul, good to go. And Jasper powered on the hood. And here is the left side right here. Unfortunately, there is no contingencies whatsoever, but uh, this is not a test car. This is actually like a very, very rare die cast. Um, people kept saying this on eBay that it was a 1999, but I disagree. It's uh, a 1998 since I've seen it on the packaging. Here is the roof right here. We got a little bit of a sponsor game going on. We got... We got a lot of sponsors based in the back. We got Moog, Champion, Anco, Felpro, Sealed Power, and Wagner Brake Products on the deck lid. It's a lot of uh, sponsors that are pretty much not in NASCAR anymore except for Moog and Champion. That's, they're still in NASCAR, I believe. Uh, I, they, I know Moog is still in NASCAR, but not Champion. Maybe I don't exactly know, but here is Jasper Engines. Jasper, Jasper Power on the back. Uh, it's very, very hard to see from that. But, uh, Jasper engines or Jasper Power, I think it's Jasper Powered on the back. But here is the right to die cast here, same size as the left. And not only that, I completed 1997, but I also completed all the 1998 Cup cars. 46 Cup cars is what I have now. And I have a cat basically crying with my door, hitting my door. It's a uh, cat basically hitting my door there. But, uh, but this has been a wacky and wild Christmas die cast review, everybody. Uh, with a lot of noise and everything in the back. Um, Thank you guys for watching, and um, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'm going to have at least two more reviews 
for you guys by the end of the year, which I got more die casts coming in, which uh, hopefully they'll be the last two of the year for you guys. And I know there's been a lot of die cast reviews I've made. But this has been the NASCAR Freak, everybody. And I want to wish you, wish you guys a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Signing out and God bless, guys.